April and Wayne Show app is now available on Google Play for Android. And donate to help the ministry at aprilandwayneshow.com. Many satanic artists have lyrics that are written with hidden codes and messages or witch language, which are words that mean something different in the occult world so that the average person may not understand. But because their lyrics are so influenced by Satan, even the artists may not even know the full meaning of the words the devil gives them to write. Because many times, these artists sing about their own future doom. But true Christians can always understand the satanic agenda and meaning behind non-Christian music. Because many times, it is taken from the Bible and twisted to fool their fans and listeners. For example, in Drake's new album, Drake repeats many times two significant words, the number six and the word woe. He even titles several of his songs with the number six, including Six God, Six Man, Star 67, You and the Six, and 6 p.m. in New York. In the Bible, the number six represents the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, and Satan's number, which is of course 666. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six, 666. By Drake consistently repeating the number six, he is showing his allegiance to Satan. He even has the number six with praying hands on his album cover, which he also has a tattoo of, meaning he worships and prays to Satan for his fame and fortune. Drake and Meek Mill in the blasphemous song, Amen, rapped about praying and thanking their God, Satan, for the women and wealth they have received from him. And in the end, they even mentioned the Illuminati, showing what team they are on. Man, we keep a secret Illuminati. Drake is becoming more open with his Satanism, and his new album, not yet to be released, is already titled Views from the Six. But he also repeats the word woe throughout his album. For example, in his song, Know Thyself, he repeats the phrase running through the six with my woes. In the Bible, the word woe is a significant word mentioned about a hundred times for a specific reason. Woe is used in the Bible in referring to the wrath of God on the sinners and the disobedient Christians. And woes are greatly used in the book of Revelations for the tribulation period which is coming soon to the earth for all those who worship the Antichrist and receives the mark of the beast. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The number seven is also a significant number in the Bible, especially in the book of Revelations. At the end of the seven year tribulation period, seven angels will blow their trumpets. And after each trumpet sounds, terrible plagues will come on the earth because humanity has rejected God and his commandments. The final three trumpet plagues are called the three woes. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. Woe was also used for Judas who betrayed Jesus. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Woe was also used for the scribes and Pharisees, which were religious leaders of Jesus' time, and for pastors and preachers of today who preach false doctrines. If you sing this song, you are also putting a curse on yourself and you are also running with the devil with the wrath of God abiding on you. If you idolize and worship Drake by buying and listening to his music and going to his concerts, in the end you are glorifying Satan because his music is influenced by the devil. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, that thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I will not give to another. Drake glorifies drugs, drinking, violence, lust, and fornication, which is sex before marriage. Drake has many woes because he commits these sins and abominations, which includes leading his fans to hell. 
But not only is Drake in danger of hell if he doesn't repent, but if you have not repented of your sins and given your life to Jesus Christ, the wrath of God also abides on you. Jesus said, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. For those who want to be saved, here is a prayer of repentance for salvation. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. I turn my back on my sin, and I renounce every spirit that has me bound. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me. Come into my heart and be my savior. After getting saved, begin reading your Bible daily and pray every day by humbling yourself on your knees before the Lord privately to grow in your walk with the Lord. 